Today in Bible videos, we're going to learn about the story of how King Jehoiakim burned Jeremiah's scroll. Are you ready to see how? So let's get started. After the wicked reign of King Ammon, King Josiah was crowned king. He loved and obeyed the Lord. During his reign, the book of God's law, which was thought to have been lost, was found in the temple, and Josiah made sure it was read to the people of Judah. And God raised a prophet called Jeremiah to preach that unless they repented and obeyed, then God would send the Babylonians to take them as captives. And urged on by Josiah, Jeremiah and others, false idols and places of occult worship were smashed, but the people did not turn back to God with all their hearts. Josiah went into the battle against Pharaoh Necho and was fatally wounded by Egyptian archers. And he was brought back to Jerusalem to die. Pharaoh Necho intervened to put Eliakim on the throne in his place and changed his name to Jehoiakim. He would act as a puppet king to do what the Egyptians wanted and the people of Judah would pay the Egyptians tribute money. Jehoiakim worshipped false gods and became a godless tyrant who committed atrocious sins and crimes. The nation turned away from God and the prophet Jeremiah warned it was very foolish to trust in the Egyptians to defend them. He preached that, um, he preached that unless they repented, the Babylonians would invade and take them captive. Three years after becoming king, Jehoiakim heard the news that the Egyptians had been defeated by the Babylonians at the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BC. And God told Jeremiah to write down all the prophecies that he had given him over many years. A scribe called Baruch wrote down God's words on a scroll as Jeremiah dictated them to him. The Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar swooped down the coast near Jerusalem to capture the Philistine cities controlled by Egypt. When Baruch had finished writing the scroll, Jeremiah said, I am forbidden to go into the temple. So Baruch went into a room just off the upper assembly hall of the temple and read God's word to the crowd. Baruch was then invited to read the scroll to some of the top leaders. And by the time he finished, the leaders were severely frightened and they said, We must tell the king. But they told Baruch and Jeremiah to go into hiding as they knew the king would not be pleased. The scroll was then taken to King Jehoiakim in the winter apartment of his palace. He had a fire burning to keep him warm. Jehudi began reading the scroll to the king. As Jehudi read each section, the king cut that section off the scroll. King Jehoiakim then burnt that section in the fire. He repeated this until the whole scroll was burned to cinders. Elathan, Deliah, and Jeremiah pleaded with the king not to burn the scroll, but he wouldn't listen to them. He had nothing but contempt for God's warnings. And two men were sent to arrest Jeremiah and Baruch, but God had hidden them. King Nebuchadnezzar defeated the Philistine city of Ashkelon and then headed toward Jerusalem. Jehoiakim decided to surrender to King Nebuchadnezzar rather than see the Babylonians destroy the city. So he changed his allegiance from the Egyptians to the Babylonians. He paid the Babylonians tribute from the treasury and gave them valuable artifacts from the temple. Some of the royal family and nobility were handed over to the Babylonians as hostages. And Jehoiakim continued to reign for another three years as a king to Babylonians. Jehoiakim continued to reign for another three years as a vassal king to the Babylonians. And God told Jeremiah to dictate the words of the burnt scroll to Baruch again. So a second scroll was written, which is in our Bible today in the book of Jeremiah. In 601 BC, the Babylonians tried to invade Egypt and were beaten back. Against all the warnings of Jeremiah, King Jehoiakim switched allegiance back to the Egyptians. 
and for three years the Babylonians did nothing. Then in 598 BC they moved in to deal with the rebellious king. Jerusalem was surrounded and the people inside trapped. The siege went on for three months. And during the siege, King Jehoiakim died. The people inside the city threw the king's dead body over the city wall, hoping the Babylonians would show them mercy. Jehoiakim's body lay on the ground until the siege ended. Jehoiakim's son Jeconiah, who is also known as Jebioshin, was crowned king. But once the city fell, the Babylonians deposed him and took him prisoner. King Nebuchadnezzar took 10,000 captives from Jerusalem, including all the princes and the best of the soldiers, craftsmen, and smiths. So only the poorest and least skilled people were left in the land. And the king of Babylon appointed King Jehoshin's great uncle, Matania, to be the next king, and he changed his name to Zedekiah. The end. And I hope you had fun learning the story of how King Jehoiakim burned Jeremiah's scroll. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more Bible videos. Bye.